I think my mother is trying to live vicariously through me. It all started at the age of six when she signed me up for my first dance class. And then at the age of 12 when I had to sign up for babysitting classes because that should be every girl's first job. And now at the age of 17 where I'm basically destined to go to the University of Georgia because that's where my parents met and had the greatest times of their lives and that's where I'm supposed to go and have the greatest times of my life. But before that my mom is insisting that I go through the misery called prom. Don't you want to get all dressed up and look like a princess for a night? We'll get you a limo. We'll pay for everything. Now, don't get me wrong, sweetie, but uh, don't you not want to regret ever going to a school dance? And that got me thinking. I've always kind of resented the high school experience. Football games, HOCO, student council, it all just felt so lame, like a waste of time. But here I am, uh, 42 days away from senior year ending, and now questioning, was it all really a waste of time? I mean, what else are you supposed to be doing in high school? Getting a nine to five office job? There's this quote, and it goes, I'd rather look back on my life and say, I can't believe I did that, than say, I wish I did that. And you know, this isn't really a whole, like, I can't believe I did that moment, but I feel like this is a very monumental moment everybody's given thought, <sighs> including me. What else am I gonna be doing Saturday night, watching Netflix in my room alone, feeling sorry for myself? I might as well go. I wanted to film an intro, but I also really wanted ice cream. And so naturally, I was like, well, why can't you just do both at one time? Ah! Prom is a thing that is currently happening right now, or like soon, or has happened. It depends, you know, on like your school and stuff. So I thought that I would do a get ready with me prom. <laughs> my dismay, I'm a little stubborn if you can't tell. I informed my mother of my decision. But I did let my mom and dad know that I would take them up on their whole payment thing. The bad news, promise in four days. Meaning everywhere in my town is booked. And I mean everywhere. I called for hours, trying to find someone to braid my hair or at least throw it up in one of those fancy soccer mom looking thingies. Ma'am, you don't understand. My prom is in three days and I just really need someone to do my hair. You can just blow dry it out for all I care. I will pay you. Just please fit me in. <laughs> you and everybody else, kid. I'm sorry, I can't do it. Fair enough. <sighs> but could you believe no one in a 20 mile radius had an opening? You'd think it was a school dance or something. Oh wait. I needed to dress in ASAP. Short dresses, long dresses, sparkly dresses, not sparkly dresses. I seriously think I was starting to develop dry eye syndrome from all of my staring at that screen. And I know what you're thinking, why didn't you actually just go to a prom store? A prom store. Two days before prom. Yeah, I didn't think so. Overnight shipping can be worth it. My mom had mentioned my older sister had a prom dress if I wanted to go try it on, and at this point, I was overlooking. Oh wait, Tessa left for college three years ago. And it's this, ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. Everyone gets so crazy with their prom makeup, and don't get me wrong, that's super awesome and everything. It's just not me. Now what to do with this? she's got going on it might look good on me. How do you do that? Do you sweat a lot? And finally, the day of prom has arrived. Honestly, I'm kind of glad I didn't plan this forever. These past three days have been stressful now. I mean, could you imagine three months of that? Anyways, you would have thought it was Christmas morning with the way my mom was acting. She was more excited than I was when I learned getting your wisdom teeth out meant no school for two weeks. And that's saying a lot. I let her have her excitement though. I mean, just four years ago, she was dropping off her baby at this big, scary old school with all these kids, not knowing the journey we had ahead of us. And here we are four years later. I'm her last kid, her baby. And as much as I hate to say it, she had every right to be excited for me. This was as much her moment as it was mine. This is my me. I think my ice cream melted. It is now ice cream soup! Problem solving. Amazing. So that was my get ready with me for prom 2017. You ever just like do this and think like, what if I was a bobblehead? You'd always be like, wah, wah, wah. That's probably how it would be like. Make sure to leave a comment and let me know when your prom is. And if you're not old enough to go to prom or school doesn't have prom or something like that, make sure to leave a comment and tell me what kind of dress you would want to wear. Like, I feel like everybody's thought of the dress they would wear to prom, you know? Also, you should go check out my other video about prom that I made. It's Prom Struggle. It's about all the 
struggles about frogs. If you couldn't tell by the title, the link will be in the description. Alright, that's